Hello, this is David Harper, Bionic Turtle, with an illustration of the normal mixture distribution. To illustrate a normal mixture distribution, I opened a spreadsheet from Carol Alexander's book called Quantitative Methods in Finance. This is volume one of her recently published four volume set, which I think is the definitive reference on market risk analysis. To illustrate the normal mixture distribution, here let's look at the chart, which has three distributions in it. Two of them are probability density functions, or PDFs, of the familiar normal bell curve or normal distribution. Those are in green and in blue. So green and blue are plots or density functions of normal distributions. And so they have means and variances. Recall, we only need the mean and variance, first and second moment, to characterize those normal distributions. However, in red, we have the normal mixture distribution. And we know why why does it help us? We know in finance that one of our problems is that the normal is so convenient, but asset returns do not behave normally. They do not comport with the normal distribution. Specifically, they tend to exhibit skew or skewness, and also what we call leptokurtosis or heavy tails. The normal mixture distribution can model heavy tails. And one of the nice things about it is how easy it is to use. Here's the formula for it in Carol Alexander's notation. The normal mixture function denoted by G of X is simply a weighted mixture of two different normal distributions. So the normals here are denoted with Greek phi sub 1 and phi sub 2. So these are each normal distributions. In this case, those are the green and blue normals. They can have their own mean and variances. And then the normal mixture simply weights the two in a linear combination here. So pi is a weight applied to the first normal distribution, and the rest of the weight, 1 minus plot pi, is applied to the second distribution. They are added, and that generates what's shown in here, the normal mixture distribution, which will have a kurtosis in excess of 3, or excess kurtosis in excess of 0, if you like. And so this normal mixture distribution, although it has the same mean of 0 here, has a kurtosis in excess of 3, in fact of about 4.1 in this case. And so we have modeled a fat tail distribution by combining two normal distributions. And in the spreadsheet over here, we can see how simple this is. Here's a column for the first normal distribution. Here's a column for the second normal distribution. To keep it simple, both have a mean or expected return of zero if we're modeling asset returns. And the only difference then is the standard deviation of the two normal distributions. The first one has a standard deviation of one. That means it's a standard normal distribution. And the second one has a standard deviation of two or in other words, a variance of two squared of four. And so we can see in Excel, the, each of these distributions can be characterized with a norm dist function, which takes the x value, the mean of 0, the standard deviation of 1, and false indicates that we're going to plot a probability density function, that PDF. So here's the plot of the first normal. Here's the plot of the second normal. Same function is used. The only difference is we're using a different standard deviation. And so we can see in the chart the second distribution or normal density plot has greater dispersion. It has dispersion of 2. Here in green is the first one with dispersion of 1. And then if I go back, the only thing we need for a normal mixture is this mixing parameter, which is just a weight. So as a default here, we've got 0.5, so we're blending them half and half. And we can see how simple this formula is. The first distribution is weighted by the mixing parameter, and then we add the next dis normal distribution multiplied by 1 minus the weighting parameter. And that gives us a normal mixture distribution. And so if I just go back over here to the chart, that's given here in red. 
and again as I've said before the both of the normals have the uh, mean of zero so our normal mixture also has a mean of zero in our case the variance because the mixing parameter is 0.5 the variance is going to be a midpoint between the two variances so the variance is a weighted average of the variances in this case that means a 2.5 and so that is as you might expect and then the elegant outcome is that the kurtosis in this case is about 4.1 or this normal mixture distribution in red exhibits heavy tails so that's a brief uh, summary of the normal mixture distribution I hope this was helpful this is David Harper the Bionic Turtle thanks for your time